Alrighty guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanna to talk about the X-T4 and shooting in either 1080p or 4K. Now, uh, I've previously picked up the S5 uh, and I was comparing some footage from a project that I did the other day between the X-T4 and the S5 and the X-T4 um, 1080 50p just seemed to be really bad. Now I've scoured the internet looking for other people who've encountered this problem or other people that are thinking a similar thing and to be honest I didn't really find much. All I found was this one blog post that was talking about the fact that the 1080p 25 versus the 1080p 50 was significantly worse in sharpness and in detail. Now I wanted to put this to the test and I thought that this might be the reason why I've been getting some subpar, some subpar some subpar looking footage. So uh, if you wanted to stay with me and check this out, I've got some pretty interesting tests and there's actually a few things that I found that are very, very intriguing. So stick around, let's dive into it. All right, so we've got here just a 4K 50 clip straight from the camera as a bit of a reference point. Um, so just looking at things like detail on the skin, um, looking for sharpness and looking for, I guess, color rendition as well as a uh, baseline or as a standard for us. So now into the 2K 50 upscaled. So this was upscaled into 4K using the sharpen method uh, through the clip attributes. So you can see um, as it jumps there, I think that the um, 2K50 and the 2K25 do look substantially different. Um, I think there is an increase in sharpness and there's an increase in detail in the skin tones. Um, and yeah, there's an increase in color rendition as well in the 2K25. So here we have the uh, HD 100 frames per second. Now the really cool thing about this is that uh, this is still shooting in 10 bit, um, which is, yeah, just kind of blows my mind. I think the X-T4 can even shoot in uh, 240 frames in 10 bit, which is just crazy. So um, I'm actually really impressed with the uh, 1080 um, 100. Uh, not so impressed here with the HD 200. You can see there's a lot of kind of these, um, I don't know, zigzagging of lines and different things here, um, which in the glasses, which kind of puts you off. But if you look across the colors, across all the different um, clips there, they all look pretty much exactly the same, and that's because of that 10-bit codec, which is just amazing. So in summary, guys, uh, I think that the 1080p 50 has really blotchy or really smushed skin tones. Uh, it's a real shame because uh, you can get some really nice looking stuff out of the X-T4, but the 1080p 50 just seems to really kind of just compress it together and just make it very soft. And there's just not a lot of detail in skin tone. So because of that, um, I think 1080 50 is something I'm gonna start to veer away from. The good news is though, is that we're not going to have to double our space. All right, so from some of the tests I did, it seemed like the difference between a 1080p file at 10 seconds and a, and a 4K file at uh, 10 seconds, the difference was only about 70 to 80%. So the 1080p was about 70 or 80% of the 4K file, which is pretty interesting, I thought. In, in most other cases when I've shot uh, things it's seen on different cameras, it seems like the 4K image is at least twice the file size of a similar length clip. So because of that, I'm pretty confident that shooting in 4K 50 will probably be a good idea moving forward. It's gonna increase space needs just a little bit, but the clarity, the um, the detail, okay, the ability to punch in in post, I think that's gonna become a really useful benefit to shooting on the X-T4. So something else that I found that was really interesting, uh, in my opinion, is that the 100 frames per second in 1080p was actually almost cleaner or as clean or cleaner than the 50p, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I think that uh, the X-T4 is a really interesting camera in that way. I think that the X-T4 is a really great camera for many reasons, but one of them is the fact that you get autofocus in the uh, 100 and 120 frames, and even I think 200 and 240 frames per second, which is really crazy. And not a, not a lot of other cameras in this price range give you quality or at least semi-decent autofocus 
in this price range. So um, really great feature there, 100 frames per second in HD seems to look really clean. And I don't know if you know this about the X-T4, but all of the uh, slow motion modes actually shoot in 10 bit, which is crazy. None of the other cameras that are rivals to the X-T4 can actually shoot slow motion past 60 frames per second in 10 bit, which is really crazy. Not even the S5 that I've just bought. So some really quality options there coming out of the X-T4 for you in a slow motion context. So uh, guys, if you think that I've missed anything, if you feel like I need to review something or look back over something, or you just think that you want to add anything to the conversation around at the X-T4 and the 1080p modes, please chuck it in the chat down below. I uh, would love your um, subscription to my channel. Uh, I'm aiming to make content relating to the X-T4, the Lumix S5, and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, because they're the cameras that I own, and they're the cameras I like to kind of fiddle with and poke and prod and see uh, how I can get new and better things out of it. So if you have those cameras, love for you to subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.